Hey there, gang. Patrick King here, coming to you live tonight from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Today's question comes to us from Beth. And Beth says, Thank you for helping me teach my young horse to load into the trailer. Beth's horse just recently participated in a week-long foundation course with me. She's a long yearling, so we spent some time working on trailer loading. I just bought a new step-up slant load to replace my straight load ramp. <clears throat> Now my new challenge. We're heading to a show, and I'm taking a friend along. Friend as in horse. Uh, she, will, she will be loaded first. So her horse, not the friend, right? She'll be loaded first. Once I get her loaded, how is it best to tie her so that she's safe when I load and unload her friend? Also, should I be loading her as we did in the straight load with me outside the trailer sending her in? Or should I take a different approach since this is a slant load? So we've got a couple different pieces to cover in there. And I'm going to cover the loading uh, first, the, the sending her into the trailer. So in a straight load trailer, we always teach the horse, I always teach the horses, a lot of us do, uh, always teach the horses to kind of go in, find the comfort of the trailer, and load themselves in first. Uh, my basic rule or my philosophy is that if the horse is not confident loading themselves in the trailer, I am sure as hell not going to climb in in front of them when they're not confident with loading into that trailer. Um, you know, because there's a lot of accidents that take place. We've all seen our fair share, I'm sure, of trailer loading accidents. So if the horse is not confident loading themselves, I'm not going to go in ahead of them just my personal philosophy. Um, so when we switch to loading with the slant load trailer, the first thing I would do is practice sending her in by herself, just to make sure that she's confident with the new angle. I have a feeling she's going to be all right with it, but it's always a good idea to check and be sure first. Now, once a horse is confident loading into the trailer, it's fine with me, so long as the trailer is big enough and there's enough room uh, for you to be up there safely in the trailer with the horse, I'm okay with stepping into the trailer with or even ahead of the horse. Again, taking into account that first, they must be confident loading by themselves. All right, that's my rule. So I'm not one of these types that says always load from the outside or always step in ahead. To me, if the horse is confident, it shouldn't matter, okay? It should not matter if they're confident. <clears throat> uh, so what I would do for this, Beth, as I said, is I would first initiate from the outside of the trailer. See how that works. Is there enough room? I know you said it's a two-horse trailer, uh, so it, uh, it should be, there should be enough room for you to step up in there and let herself, or let her put herself up into p position. It's also kind of shallow enough that you should be able to handle that from the outside of the trailer as well. So that's going to be a personal preference for you, wherever you feel most comfortable in that case. Now, when it comes to tying the horse in the trailer, I see a lot of people that'll walk up in, uh, either in front of or behind, it doesn't matter, uh, walk up into the to the bay that they're tying the horse into and tie them directly into that bay. That's not a terrible idea. It's kind of traditional to do it that way. But my opinion is if we get into a situation where maybe the horse is scrambling or um, you know nervous or something like that, you're having to open the divider and step up in there with that horse. Now, if it's a bad enough situation, when you open that divider, the horse could try to shoot back out, okay? Uh, leaving them pulling back against the tie ring, essentially. The way that I like to tie a horse in a slant load, once I have them up there into position, I'm going to, maybe I'll bring the lead rope through that tie ring, but I'm gonna bring it up over the divider and tie them actually in the next bay behind them, so one closer to the doorway. So in this case, you've got a two horse trailer. Uh, I'm gonna send her up into the front, and then I would bring the lead over the divider, run it through the ring, bring it over the divider, and tie her in the bay behind, one closer to the door. In this situation, if for any reason she's nervous, she's anxious, she's 
scrambling, you know, something's going wrong. You don't have to get in the divider with her. You don't have to open the divider before you untie her. It's just, to me, a lot safer. And then, depending on how your trailer is set up, uh, what, what I do with our trailer is we've got a little tie ring in the tack room there. We've got a rear tack. So the last horse in the door there gets fed through the ring and it goes in through to the tack room. So they get tied in there. So every horse, uh, you're able to untie them safely without first opening the divider, leaving you open for, you know, scrambling, pulling back kind of accidents that way. That's the way that I like to tie them. And what I'll do, I have a photo of this to show you a little better how that works. I'm going to put that, once I'm done with the video here, I'm going to upload that photo uh, in the comment section of this video so that you can see how that works. Uh, so. Hopefully that's helped you out, specifically Beth, with your question and anybody else that might have challenges with that. Uh, once I get the opportunity that I've got some time and some horses to play with and, and the ability to make some videos, uh, I'm going to actually show you how I go about loading with a horse and with a trailer and, and show you how I go about the tying and the loading that way to help give you a better idea if you're more of a visual learner rather than kind of learning by the speaking as, as we do in these videos. So hopefully that has helped you. Um, if this uh, advice is helpful to you, please feel free to share this video. If you have a friend that maybe needs to hear this advice, please tag them in the comments section below uh, in this video or share the video directly with them. That would be a great idea. So that's going to leave us into the question of the day. Question of the day for you today. Beth's question was about her buying a new trailer. She had a straight load ramp trailer. She bought a slant load step up. What kind of trailer do you have? Do you have a preference for the type of trailer you load your horse into? Or more interesting to me, does your horse have a trailer that you think they find uh, preferential, straight load, slant load, forward slant, backward slant, you know, anything like that, big box bay. Let me know. Let me know in the comments section below this video. I'm curious your preference and if he has one, your horse's preference. Don't forget, gang, you keep sending in questions. I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks so much.